Don't be impatient, children. You know you have to drive a new car very slowly. Maybe you ran into something. Don't say things like that. Thank you. Where's the car, Pop? What color is it? Where'd you come from, dear? I came in the back way. The car's in the alley. Come on. Hold it, hold it. The car ain't in the alley. Well, where did you leave it, dear? Well, you see, it's like this, Peg. Well, Daddy, you got it. Why, I'd just die if you didn't. I told all the girls at school. I promised Melanie had a ride tomorrow. Now, of course he got it. Your father wouldn't fool us like that. Well, it was an unexpected development. Oh, I understand. Driving license, registration, all that sort of red tape. Yeah, there was a lot of that, too. Well, when will we get it, Daddy? Will it be here tomorrow? <laughs> Peg, I thought I was going to get a car at the lunch today, you but... You mean you didn't? What a sap this is going to make out of me. Oh, I see it's coming direct from the factory. Yeah, yeah, that's it. F-O-B, that means from out of Baltimore. It'll be here in a couple of days. Hurry up with them wheels. We're almost ready to roll. <laughs> so these ought to fit. How do you like it? Somehow I don't think Peggy's gonna believe this is the car the boss gave me. What's in it for 11 bucks? All we need is an engine, a few wheels, and a coat of stove polish, and it'll look like it fell right off the assembly line. Yeah, well, you, you sure that old airplane engine is gonna fit in here? If it don't, we'll start fresh and build another car around it. Come on, get in, let me see how it looks on you. <laughs> I told you that fish glue wasn't gonna hold. We can put a couple of nails in it. Come on. There's only one out. What's that? Get hit by a truck. Yeah. <laughs> if I don't make good, Peg and the kids are going to hate me. I dug my own grave. Now I got to lie in it. That's an idea. They'd never think of looking there. Maybe I can join the army. You're too old, Ryle. Not for the Salvation Army. <laughs> hey, that's a classy job. The one we made's got the same lines. Yeah, only crooked. Hey, Gillis, this one's got seats. Let's get in and get the feel of the wheel, huh? Hey, what if the owner comes back? We'll tell him we're a couple of oil maggots looking for a good buy. You know they got special cells in the pokey for guys that do things like this? Come on. This is wrong, Riley. This is wrong. Ah, uh, just sitting in it gives me a boot. <laughs> hey, Riley, look at the registration. This is the boss's car. Get, get out! <laughs> Every time you breathe, I get in trouble. Boss must be in the barbershop. I hope he had a hot towel on his puss. Uh, if I could only surprise Peg and the kids with a job like this. I got news for you. You're gonna. They're just coming down the street. <laughs> oh, they'll think this is the car. What am I gonna do? Stick us something quick, Gillis. Pretend you're a stranger. No, they'll never believe that. Get in the back and lie down. Yeah, yeah, storm off. I will. Look, Mom, it is a convertible. Oh, hello, Mr. Gillis. Where did Riley go? Riley? Who's Riley? Stop it, Gillis. I saw you and Riley sitting in our car. Junior, get away from there. You'll wear it out. Oh, here's Daddy, Mom. Surprise! Oh, Peg. Oh. Riley, it's gorgeous. Well, what else is new? Well, I'll be seeing you, Riley. So long. Wait a minute, Gillis. Don't go. Junior, get away from there. The floor. It's ours, ain't it? Don't. Oh. Beds. 
Riley, you get behind the wheel. You can drive us home. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, Peg, but the, what, what I mean is, well, they forgot to give me the keys. They're hanging right here in the ignition. Oh, they are? I mean, are they? Come on, Pop, let's start her up. Bet you she'd do 90. Out of 40 million kids, I gotta own Barney Olsen. <laughs> What's going on here? Uh, Mr. Cunningham. Oh, hi, Mrs. Riley, Mr. Cunningham. This is our daughter, Babs. Hello. We want to thank you for the wonderful gift. Yeah, they're going to spend a lot of time polishing it and keeping it in good running order. It's a wonderful car, Mr. Cunningham. Well, it ought to be. It costs six thousand dollars. You're going to sell it, Pop. Why don't you sell it to Mr. Cunningham? Barney Junior. He's, he's taking a business course. He's always practicing something, something. We're just driving it home. Can we drop you somewhere? You're driving it home? Well, no, dear, not driving it home. See, she met But you, you don't understand. Junior, don't push anything! I'm going to cry! It's tragic to a shame. Riley, I demand an explanation of this. We know what you were trying to do, and we love you very much. Do you think? Of course, Daddy. What's an old car as long as we've got you? <laughs> you mean it, Babs? You're the best pop in the whole world. Thanks, Junior. Well, you know we're crazy about you. We couldn't do without you. You're a lucky woman. 